Boom! What's up internet? It is early in the morning and I have had no coffee yet. And that is a problem. But we're about to fix that problem right here. Okay guys, the Breville Smart Grinder Pro. I am looking forward to having my first cup of coffee this morning as it took a little while to set up for the video. I will let you know what I think about if it's worth the $200 price tag. It's about twice what I paid for our last Cuisinart, which frankly is just kind of a piece of junk and it locks up all the time. It's not as high end of a grinder and it doesn't have nearly as many settings as this one does. So hopefully this will serve the purpose a little bit better. It's a lot of money for me to spend on a coffee grinder, but I'd rather invest in something that's gonna work than wonder if it's gonna grind coffee the next morning. All right, so there we are. There's the uh, Smart Grinder Pro. Let's see what's inside. Attachment doodads, a little brushy brush. It appears to be our hopper. There's a little container for all of our delicious, delicious beans. Okay, so now we've got it out of the box. A couple things that I like about this right off the bat is this thing feels really heavy duty uh, compared to the one I had. Uh, nice stainless sides. Um, really smart design all around. Even the plug has this nice little spot that you can grab onto it so you don't feel like you're ripping it out of the wall. So I don't know why all plugs don't have this kind of design. This little lid on top gets a really nice seal so it's, um, you can actually lock the hopper down on top of the grinder so it doesn't come off. Um, I'll show you the gears inside, the little burrs inside. They look really aggressive and I feel like that's gonna do a really great job. Uh, so we're gonna drop that back in. Got a nice tight seal here so if you're leaving beans in there for a long time, for a couple days before you go through all of them, you don't have to worry about those getting stale. Um, really great looking uh, display. This is where your main control is on the side, so you can kind of dial this in between extra fine for espresso and go down to drip uh, and all the way to a coarser grind for French press. Um, and I kind of go back and forth typically between uh, drip coffee and French press. If I'm at a coffee shop, I usually go for the Americana, which is basically an espresso with some hot water over it. And now that I have something that will actually grind at an espresso uh, coarseness, I might have to check into an espresso machine. One of the other things I really like about this is I can take my cone filter, this is from my, my own coffee pot, and I can just pop that directly underneath here and grind directly into the filter so I don't have to have the middleman of some other container that's gonna get gross. This little guy is great because it also is sealable and you can keep all of your ground beans inside of this container. Um, and that goes straight under there, so you can grind directly into that, which is also pretty awesome. And then once you get fancy, um, these are all magnetized, so you can drop in um, all of these different um, shot holders. So if you have one of those uh, espresso machines with a little handle shot holder, you can drop that straight in. And again, there are, there are two sizes here that this comes with. Being magnetized, that's pretty cool. And then this tray itself actually is magnetized on there too, so you can slide that baby right out and clean it off. This allows you to change uh, the grind time. This is where you can choose how many shots, and this is where you choose the actual grind size.
right guys, that was the Breville Smart Grinder Pro. Anything for me that combines caffeine, cool tech, and nice design, that's something I'm definitely gonna be interested in. But for this one in particular, I was replacing about a $100 Cuisinart grinder that's on my counter that frankly is kind of a piece of junk with this one that's 200 bucks. Uh, that seemed like a lot of money to spend on a grinder, but I'm hoping this one will last a long time and I'm pretty excited to get it into use. And honestly, I could use some coffee this morning. So make sure and hit like and subscribe to get more of these. And tell me in the comments if you're considering a Breville Smart Grinder Pro. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Cheers. So good.